To a naked, untrained eye, this may look like an average tree branch, but take a closer look. Attached to the needles are huge clusters of tiny caterpillars. But don't underestimate these little creatures. They can have a big impact on forests. They can consume every single needle on a tree. Born from eggs, these caterpillars will eventually form pupa and emerge as Pandora moss. Those moths will lay eggs and the process begins again. But this year, something extraordinary is happening in the Kaibab National Forest. We're actually in a really unique position right now where we have an opportunity to study an amazing event. Researchers use light traps to get population estimates of the Pandora moss. On an average year, they may trap a handful, but this year they caught approximately 40,000, a population boom that only happens once every 20 to 30 years. Just in the natural forest, you would see hundreds, thousands of moths on trees just flittering about. I'm here at Northern Arizona University where researchers are using the recent Pandora moth boom as an opportunity to learn more about the moth's effects on the ponderosa pine. We expect this coming summer to have a, a big boom of caterpillars throughout the forest and probably experience about maybe five to 10,000 acres of ponderosa forest being defoliated. It's not very pleasing to look at as, as tourists. So all of those tourists that go to the Grand Canyon are gonna see the defoliation that has resulted from the caterpillars feeding on, on the needles. Outsiders are worried about the moth population damaging the forest but some experts say it won't be all bad. A lot of the uh, woodpeckers and chickadees and uh, jays that we have living in the, in the Grand Canyon forest benefit. They love to eat the moss, they love the caterpillars. For others, just seeing these moths are an event no Arizonan should miss. We have a four-year-old daughter who just, you know, loved seeing all the moths and, and it's an amazing event to witness and you know because this is the beginning of the outbreak there's really going to be plenty of opportunities for folks and families to go up. Research teams hope to gain a better understanding of why these moth population fluctuations are happening. In Flagstaff, Lacey Darrow, Cronkite News.